Well, the NBA All-Star Game is now less than two weeks away here in Salt Lake City, but preparations have been going on for years now. Yes, they have, especially food and merchandise for this big game. New specialist Alex Cabrero got a sneak peek of both of these things and says the fans who may have saved their 1993 All-Star gear, well, this game could be bring back uh, quite a few memories. A lot of Utahns who were here back in 1993 for the last All-Star game might be breaking out their old merchandise to remember those days. Those designs are classic. Well, we spoke with the man in charge of designing this year's merchandise for the 2023 All-Star game, and he's hoping these become classic as well. Not a lot of people care about t-shirts, probably in the way that I do. But uh, His name? I, I Parker really Bushnell. Good. He's the director of retail with Rank and Rally, which is a merchandising partner of the Utah Jazz. He's also in charge of making sure all the merchandise for the All-Star Game is stuff fans will want. From t-shirts to hats to jerseys, you name it, Bushnell and his team have been working for more than a year on the All-Star Game merchandise. He wanted almost everything they designed, like this hat with a brim featuring the Salt Lake City skyline, to have a little slice of Utah in it. When somebody leaves the arena, there's literally only one thing that somebody can leave with. And to memorialize or whatever it is, tickets are digital now, food you put right into your belly and it's gone, right? And then the only thing that you can really have as a keepsake is a souvenir. Merchandise is one thing. Food, well, that's a completely other important part of planning for the All-Star Game. We spoke with the executive chef in charge of feeding everyone coming in for the game. We will have his story, the pressures, and everything involved with it coming up tonight in our 630 newscast. For now, though, for Live at 5, I'm Alex Cabrera. Oh, I'm excited to see the food. Yeah.